Hi, I'm Ali Reza and today I'm going to show you how to create a rack solution using Azure OpenAI Studio with your own data. Before jumping to the tutorial, I'd like to talk about the RAG itself very quickly. So RAG uh, stands for uh, Retrieval Augmented Generation. It's an architecture that augments the capabilities of a large language model or LLM like uh, ChatGPT by adding an information retrieval system that provides grounding data. Imagine you have a very smart AI that can answer your questions. This AI works in two steps. The first step is uh, finding information or retrieval. First, the AI looks through a huge library of books or documents to find the most relevant information related to your question. Think of it like searching Google to find the best articles or answer. The second one is using the information to answer or generation. After finding the best information, the AI uses that to create a response. It's like reading the top articles and then writing a clear an understandable answer for you. So now I would like to show you the rack pattern, including uh, Azure Elements, uh, because that's something that we are going to work today. And before showing the actual resources, I'd like to show you the high-level architecture of the rack pattern. In the high-level architecture of the rack pattern, we have a front end or the, the user here. That can be a, a web application, that can be an API, and that is going to the, be an interface of the, the RAG or the consumer of the RAG. In the heart of the RAG, we have the retrieval system. That can be different type of uh, solutions, but uh, with the typical RAG on Azure, the recommendation from Azure is to use the Azure AI search, which gives you a lot of built-in functions that you can use to create your RAG architecture, including the, the querying. It has a strong capabilities in querying the data, and it can connect to so many different type of data sources. As you can see in this picture, we can have a lot of different uh, type of the data source from the structured databases until uh, unstructured databases. It can connect to files, blob storage, uh, Azure SQL and Cosmos DB. On the other side, we have the large language model. And how it works is that first, we have to query the information from our database and get the information ready. And based on the prompt we got from the input, we pass the information together with the prompt to the large language model. And the large language model can generate the best response so this is simply the RAG architecture that we're going to use. And today for our tutorial, we're going to use uh, AI search, blob storage, open AI, and we're going to set up all of these things uh, using open AI studio. So you don't have to code anything. Everything will be done through the Azure portal. As I mentioned in the previous uh, slide, uh, we have to create three resources for this tutorial. Uh, I created all resources and I think you should be able also to create those resources for OpenAI. So in order to go to the OpenAI Studio, I can uh, open the OpenAI resource and from the OpenAI resource, I can directly go to the OpenAI a studio. From here, I would be able to initiate a uh, web chat. In order to create a web chat, first you need to create a new deployment and click on the new deployment. Here we can choose a new deployment. I can choose the GPT-35 Turbo or 35 Turbo 16K. I choose this one. I copy paste the same name just to know which model I deployed. Immediately I will get the a chat uh, available here. So what I want to uh, try here, it's uh, quite interesting. Uh, I'm going to ask a question. I'm going to move to Den Haag. Can you generate a checklist for me? So yeah, I'm going to say I'm going to move to Den Haag. Can you generate a checklist for me? Imagine if you're moving from another city outside of Netherlands to Den Haag uh, and you want to 
ask chat gpt or open ai to give you a checklist what kind of things you need to consider so now if i click uh, here i will get the list of things that i need to do so basically this is coming uh, from the model that is already trained by chat gpt so it's a large language model what we want to do we want to actually try our data and give it to uh, OpenAI Studio, process it by Azure AI search and see how it's going to make difference here. So in order to do that, I'm going to uh, add the new uh, brochure to uh, AI search. And this new brochure is the brochure is provided by the International Center. And it's also including a lot of uh, information about the moving to Den Haag. So I'm going to do that. Before doing that, I have to uh, go back to the resource group, go to the search account. Inside the search account on the container side, I created a new container called PDF. And here I can add my new file. So I add the file here and just upload it. So the file is uploaded. I come back to the OpenAI Studio. On this side, I can add my data. So I add the data source. From the data source here, I choose Azure Blob Storage. From here, I choose the storage account, the name of the container we had, and also the name of the AI search resource. Here, I can choose the index, and probably I, I used this name before, so index 01, for example, and then click on next. You can choose the different type of uh, search, uh, semantic and keyword. For accuracy, we can choose semantic. And here we choose API key because we still didn't configure the managed identity. So it's easier to choose API key. Click on next and it shows you the overall of all the steps we did. And now you can create and save and close. Here, as you can see, the ingestion in progress and then pre-processing will be started and after that indexing will be done and then the chatbot will be ready. I pause the video until uh, this is done. So the process is done. It took around two minutes. And uh, as you can see previously, we asked a question. I'm going to move to Den Haag. Can you generate the checklist for me? And we got this checklist. And now if I uh, ask the same question uh, together with the data we have, now let's see what's going to happen. It's interesting. Now the new uh, generated data is completely different from what we had before. The previous one was coming from the LLM knowledge, but this one is coming from the data we provided. And as you can see, it's quite concrete and it's coming from the PDF we provided. It's also uh, referred to the PDF we had here, which was uh, processed by AI search. This is quite interesting. And this is how you can use uh, your data to create a rack solution uh, on uh, OpenAI Studio. And hopefully you enjoyed this session. If you're interested, please subscribe my channel and see you in the next video.